Hey everybody, James Niggemeyer here. I want to go over my top three jig trailers. I really love to throw a jig, whether it's a flipping, a pitching, a skipping, um, a swim jig, or even a casting. And Striking makes all of them. They make the fluorocarbon jig, you know, Hack Attack series of jigs, the just everything from the Andy Montgomery skipping jig. They've got it all covered. And it can get kind of overwhelming with what you want to throw on the back of a jig. And so I'm going to give you my top three. Number one, Strike King Rage Craw. This guy is bad to the bone. I love fishing this guy, even just Texas rig. But it's got so much action. Those claws are just always catching water, even with a lightweight, heavyweight. It definitely slows the descent of your jig. And that's something to take into consideration. But this is a great bait because the visual appeal of those, those claws, those appendages waving and flashing definitely draws fish to it and then also in dirtier water I feel like the vibration this thing puts out helps fish kind of hone in on it suggests that you rig it as straight as possible I've got that thing threaded and I love it just as straight as possible so that when you kill the jig it just falls vertically it doesn't kind of roll over and when it, when you're throwing a swim jig I want it to come through the water straight as possible so it doesn't catch on wood or anything like that it stays right behind the weed guard doesn't lean over um, I think it's a real naturalistic approach and, and looks really great when you're when you've got that thing straight and it runs true through the water The next one striking menace grub. I love this guy because he gives me a lot of the great rage rage tail action But just a little bit more subdued sometimes in clear water situations or heavy pressure situations when I want a smaller package That's when the menace grub really comes into play. It's uh, not as wild as the rage craw and uh, still has a lot of great action works great on a swim jig great on a skipping jig um, all those types of things and then last the strike king rodent and the thing i like about this is it's kind of twofold after a while you can pack everything into your boat and uh, it can be a little overwhelming but this guy's twofold because i can flip and pitch him but i can thread him on the back just like the rage craw and the thing that i like is this is kind of like your standard jig chunk that we've always fished pork rind type stuff but this, these two flappers are like a jig chunk and it catches and it has the same action. And there's times when on the jig, those fish do not want a lot of action. They want kind of that glide look and uh, the, the Strike King rodent really does that well for me. And so those are the basic three, basically it's action. Uh, more stained water, warmer water, that Rage Craw, a little clearer, more um, cooler water, the Menace Grub, and then even colder water situations or in heavy heavy cover that rodent or when i feel like a, a more of a, a chunk style trailer works best so keep that in mind when you're fishing jigs um, those are the three that i really depend on day in day out and it, it covers everything from skipping a jig swimming a jig flipping pitching casting all those types of things those three baits will have all my bases covered so take that in consideration when you're when you're thinking about throwing a jig no matter what style of jig and I think uh, you'll be really pleased with how simple you can keep your selection. I hope this information helps kind of streamline your stuff, keep it simple, but also help you catch more fish. Thanks for watching.